get you started with this video you'll need a few apps just download them the link will be in the description below IDA64, CPUZ, Cinebench and MSI Afterburner would be needed for this to check if your overclock is actually working and benefiting you so what you need to do is just reboot your computer go to your BIOS in my case it's ASUS switch to advanced mode go to AI tweaker and I do know because I owned a gigabyte board before and that it's named performance just go to performance then switch your memory profile to XMP for higher stability at higher clock speeds and this is very important step change your base clock to 100 it should be on auto but change it to 100 so it stays sync and then select CPU core ratio select sync all cores and set a little bit lower than the maximum set 4.5 or 45 multiplier which will set give you a 45 or 4.5 gigahertz speed then only other thing you need to change is CPU core voltage change it to manual and go down CPU core voltage override and type in 1.3 press enter and it will fill in the zero zeros you don't need to touch anything else and that should be it now you just boot up into the system and make sure you have a good cooling system before doing this because higher temps means lower life for your CPU I recommend liquid cooling for especially Core i7 I'm currently using H100i by Corsair which is a very good all-in-one liquid cooler I faced a few issues while installing like the back plate was loose on my new motherboard uh, I will post another video how to fix it but you can see current overclock is working I'll just log on to my PC what I'll do is just fire up IDA64 but before that I'll just check CPU-Z that my voltage is properly applied you can see it's 1.302 minor voltage difference alright and frequency is 4.7 gigahertz you can see 4690 megahertz let's fire up IDA64 now and run a system stability test by going into tools and pressing system stability test press start and wait for at least 5 minutes I recommend 5 minutes I don't recommend doing it for 3-4 hours 5 minutes should be enough to diagnose any issues that might occur during normal operation you can see the temps are still low 79 degrees 80 degrees which is very low compared to some of the air coolers at this voltage you can see there is no CPU throttling it's 0% if it does throttle quickly shut down your computer change your multiplier change and lower your voltage to suit the cooling system that you have you can go to task manager to check actual performance you can see 100 person CPU is at 4.68 gigahertz and memory is fully being utilized at XMP this is happening while I'm downloading a game on Steam which is around 2 to 3 Mbps current download speed Going smooth. So that's pretty much it for the video. It's pretty simple and safe. Nothing can be damaged, but as usual, I'm not responsible for any damage you cause to your hardware. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like this.